And if you're looking to make a change at work, we've got some advice for you this morning. We're now one full week into the new year, and for some, that means actively looking for a new role. But where should you start? Joining me now with some important tips is career coach Eliana Goldstein. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. By the way, John Elliott, you know, he does all those national count, and yes. today is career coach day. I so heard, hello. I heard. So appropriate. <laughs> I love it. So, okay, first of all, what are some of the in-demand jobs and roles right now? Yeah, it's so important to think about, especially what's going to be better positioned than right. others. So a few industries to look at going into 2024. Healthcare has already seen a hiring boom, and we're probably going to see that continuing into the new year. And that's really due to an aging population mm -hmm. and advancements in medical technologies. So your typical healthcare roles like doctors and nurses and physicians assistants, but also on the tech side of healthcare. So they're like going to be roles related to telehealth and to mm. AI as well as any type of sort of data focused roles. We'll definitely see opportunities there. E-commerce is another industry. Of course, we know that we all love shopping from the comfort of our own yes. homes and, <laughs> and the convenience that that provides. So companies, brands are really focusing on how do I enhance that experience? How do I make it work better? So right. thinking about roles like digital marketers, UX, UI type roles. And then finally, another one is cybersecurity. So mm. unfortunately, we're continuing to see those hacks and those cybersecurity, those cyber attacks. So thinking about how can companies really beef that up and, and feel more secure from a privacy perspective. So any roles related to cybersecurity, engineers, architects, everything of that nature. And then I think, you know, hospitality, definitely mm -hmm. looking out there, even fintech, a little bit in the tech space as well. There's a lot of industries poised to be strong in, in 2024. And what trends do you think we're going to see across the job market? So you're going to see a trend in my answers here. The trends we're going to mm -hmm. see is going to all be related to AI and machine learning. Okay. So obviously both on the employer side as well as on the job seeker side, we've already seen AI really taking over. Employers are using it to comb through applications. They're using it to source applicants. And then job seekers are using it to help streamline the process of applying for jobs online. There are apps that can help you auto apply. There are mm. apps that can help you customize your resume and your cover letter. So that is going to be a trend that continues to happen. And I think the interesting thing to think about will be how do we maintain the human element of job searching with all of that? Obviously, in the end, we're, we're hiring another human being. So how do we leverage these technologies that help to simplify things while also making sure we're maintaining that human element in job searching? Do you think we're going to continue to see the layoffs that we saw last year? And what do you what do you recommend people do to get ready if that's what we're going to see? Yeah, I yes and no. I think that there there is going to continue to be layoffs. I think that's inevitable. I'm hoping it won't be at the same level as 2023. But again, that's why it's so important to think about the industries and the roles that you're targeting because some are going to be more secure than others. As we mentioned before, healthcare, e-commerce, mm -hmm. and and whatnot. Uh, but no matter what, I'm a big believer that you need to be proactive. No matter how secure you feel in your job, you just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So you need to prepare yourself for that. And that doesn't necessarily mean that while you have a job, you're actively interviewing and applying for a ton of jobs. But I really focus on maintaining your network, building mm. relationships. So I say have one to two networking conversations a month just to make sure that that's intact and that should something happen unexpectedly, you can reach out to your connections and they can help you out so that you can find a job more quickly and not have that fear that it's going to take you quite a long time. That's good advice. Twice a month, people can do that. Yeah, not so hard. Eliana, yeah. thank you so thank much. You for Appreciate having me. it. And we want to hear from you. Send your career questions to Eliana, and she may answer them here live on the show. You can find her on Instagram at Eliana underscore Goldstein.